what's going on welcome back to a brand new video this is going to be a quick install video we're going to do some side steps or uh, running boards whatever you want to call them uh, i picked these ones as the eye I board I believe they're called. I picked these ones because they're they're kind of like a low profile look and it kind of matches the the flow of the vehicle. I think. It's pretty quick, your standard stuff. You get your you get your two side steps, three racks. Well six racks in total. I already put one side on. That's pretty much how it's gonna look. Pretty simple, low profile. Nothing crazy. Some people like them without the side step and some people like it with it. For me, it's just easier to get in and out of the truck, honestly, like, it's just easier. So, minimum tools needed for this. So you're gonna need uh, like a razor to cut the bags open pretty simple you're gonna need a 13 socket yeah 13 socket you're gonna need a 10 10 millimeter socket you can either use a wrench or you can use if you guys don't already have one of these you got to get you one it's just gonna make your job easier and you got your directions which it doesn't it's not really that hard it's pretty simple actually uh, actually, they, they could have even made it easier, but this is what it is. All right, let's get started. Yep, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your brackets. Oh, the sun is out over here. You're going to find where your brackets go. So on here, they got three. That's in the front, three in the middle, and three in the back. But how they want you to do it is you're going to connect the first two in the front, like so. As you can see, the third one is not connect it so you can only connect the two then the third one which is the middle one this is how you would connect the front all right so this one you're going to connect these two like so all right then the third one which is going to be the rear just like the middle one and that's where they fit now you're going to put your bolts on well yeah, you're gonna put your uh, bolts on. It's gonna be a 13 millimeter. All right, yeah, so in order to put these on, you're gonna need uh, the hardware package A. It's gonna come with the washer and the nut, which is gonna be a 13. So we're just gonna put those on on all three of them. Let's do it.
All right, so just a, just a suggestion for these bottom bolts. Do not tighten them all the way down just yet. That way you have, you'll be able to move it before you actually put the board on top. So don't tighten this down yet completely. Wait until you have the board set on here. And then uh, once it's set on there and tightened, then you can tighten these downs after. That's just a little suggestion. All right, so next you're gonna take package, hardware package B. It's gonna be six of these bolts. Well, not bolts, uh, screws or whatever. You're gonna slide them in, slide three on each side. Like so, and each bolt's gonna go all the way down, or each screw. All right, and I'll show you where they go. All right, so each uh, screw, you're gonna slide them over, basically so they match up with one of these spots. So you got two there. These two here, slide them over, so that they match up with this one, and then, uh, yep, you're going to flip it over and match them up. Alright, so once you get one side matched up, go ahead and put a washer and screw on these two, so that when you're lifting it up and trying to match the other side, the other two over here, this one's not going to be coming out. So, just a little suggestion to make it easier for you. Alright, once you got it all lined up the way you want it, it's pretty even. Go ahead and start tightening them down. guys that's it for this install turned out pretty good they're pretty low profile they don't stick out too much if you look from the side you can't even see them they're like tucked in when you're uh, if you're looking from the side view from the other side see the side view you can't even see them and then they so they're pretty low profile I didn't want nothing that stuck out, stuck out too much. Pretty sturdy. I was honestly just tired of, you know, sliding out of the truck. Um, and then also, if you got, if you have a a girl get in or kids get in the back or something, they need something to step on. So, yeah, it worked out good. But if you guys got a little bit more money, then you should get the uh, the ones that automatically fold in and out. That's if you got the money for it, you know. I think it's about 1500 something like that. It's worth it to you, or just buy the truck with it already. But um, this is a budget-friendly channel, so this is what we got. But all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Appreciate y'all watching another install video. Stay tuned for more Dodge, or excuse me, Ram video, and we ain't forget about you. We ain't forget about you. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Peace.